Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Catherine with A Perfect Place to Start and today I have four farmhouse glam DIYs for you that could be either home decor or gift ideas. So let's jump in. I'm going to start this DIY using this tray that I got at Dollar General. It was $7 over in their home decor area. I'm going to be using some rose gold paint and some regular gold acrylic paint that I picked up at Walmart. I'm going to paint the entire tray with my rose gold paint. The handles I did paint with the gold paint, but you can't really see it, so I don't think that that's really a necessary step. Once I have that all completed, I'm going to be using this bling wrap that I picked up from totallydazzled.com. I'll link, leave a link down below if you're interested in checking that out. You could also use the bling wrap that they have at Dollar Tree. This is the rose gold color at Dollar Tree. They do have um, several other different colors if you're not into pink, but I just cut it into two strips. I'm going to lay it down here in the bottom of the tray and then this project is complete. I felt it deep inside, beautiful woman People are talking me down, beautiful woman You try to tell me what's right, the road is longer You turn all gray into white oh. And all the things I didn't say There's wrecking balls inside my brain Standing tall with all my faith This video is part of the girls night out what would you do collab in this collab we were required to use wood in our DIYs and our theme was girls night out there will be a playlist down in my description box and you can go and check out every one of these lovely ladies and the videos that they came up with using wood for a girls night out DIYs this collab is put on monthly by Lovely Moments Creating, and her co-host this month is DIY with Amber. So their links will also be in my description box. Make sure you go down and check out their channel. When you head on over to these lovely ladies, make sure you let them know that I sent you over. For this project, we're using one of those wooden frames from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to remove the picture insert and the backing uh, little dowel that goes in the back. I'm going to use that same rose gold folk art paint and I'm going to cover the entire wood frame with the paint. So back and front, the sides, and the little dowel that goes to the back of the picture frame. I did only use one coat of the paint on the picture frame. This paint goes on fairly lightly so when you paint it on um, it looks kind of like a stain and I like that because then the wood is showing through the paint color and I feel like that's what gives it the farmhouse look. So I'm taking some more of that totallydazzled.com bling wrap. I took a piece, I measured it around the front and then I cut that piece off of the big roll. Once I had that piece cut off the big roll, I cut that piece in half and I'm going to glue that onto our picture frame with the two sides um, glued on in the back. So next I'm going to take one of these bling brooches that I also got from totallydazzled.com. They did send these to me so I could try them out and I have to say they are pretty amazing. They can be a pin, they do have like a pin attachment on some of them so you could actually wear these. But I have seen some pretty amazing things made out of these. They're very heavy, high quality, and pretty awesome. So if you want to check them out, the link is down in my description box. But I'm just going to glue that onto the middle and then this project is complete. I found the wall again Beautiful woman Sometimes 
sometimes we simply fall out, beautiful woman. Beautiful woman, tied to your love in the doubt, beautiful woman. And all the things I didn't say, there's wrecking balls inside my brain. Standing tall with all my faith, empty voices in my head. So I have been using this bling wrap through most of this video today and TotallyDazzle.com sent me an extra roll of this bling wrap to give away and so I am going to give it away in this video. All you have to do is comment on this video between May 17th and May 24th and I will choose a winner on May 25th and I will send it out to you. So good luck and let me know what you think about this bling wrap. For this project we're going to use these little boxes from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to remove the little drawers that came with it and set those aside for a separate project. I'm going to use, to use these bottom boxes and we're going to be making some planters out of this. So since today's theme was a girl's night out, I had more in mind of a girl's night in and whenever I have people over or I'm hosting some kind of party like book club or something like that, I always like my guests to go home with some kind of party favor. So that's what I had in mind when I created this DIY. So once I have those boxes covered with that one coat of the rose gold paint, I cut one strip of the bling wrap and then I measured around the box and then I cut it into thirds so I would have a piece for each one of the boxes. Once I have the bling wrap wrapped around and hot glued to each of the boxes, I'm going to take another one of the jewels from totallydazzle.com and these some of these come with the pins as a brooch and then some of them are just... Um, by themselves that you can use as an embellishment. I take uh, three of the ones that I thought looked like the best here and I go ahead and glue them on into the middle of the boxes. Once I have those all glued on to the middle of the boxes, I take some floral foam, glue it into the bottom of the box, and then I'm going to take some Dollar Tree roses. And I picked out pink and white just because pink seemed to be the theme for me today. I'm going to go ahead and arrange those into the boxes. Then I'm going to take some green like raffia pieces kind of and I'm going to glue those into the bottom of the floral arrangement which gives it that farmhouse feel and then this project is complete. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I like to do seasonal decor, Dollar Tree DIYs, home decor, and thrift to treasure. So if that is something you're into, I would love it if you went down, hit the subscribe button, and became a part of my YouTube family. For this DIY, I'm taking these candle holders that came from the Dollar Tree and these two wood rounds that I picked up at Walmart. I'm going to use my hot glue and I'm just going to glue all around the top of the candle holder and I'm going to glue the wood round to each piece of the candle holder. Once I get those wood rounds glued on, I'm going to go outside with my Rust-Oleum Desert Rose Gold spray paint and I'm going to give them a few coats. 
I thought these were really fun. I saw them over in the candle area. They are make your own candles at the Dollar Tree. And I thought that this would be a really fun party favor or if you're doing a girls night in, maybe you're doing crafts or you're just kind of hanging out. This would just be kind of a fun project that they could also take as a little party favor. But I just wanted to show you how to put this together. It's pretty amazing for a dollar. So the candle wick is already in there and you're gonna take these little uh, wax uh, like little beads and you're just going to assemble the candle however you see fit so each of the scent of the beads is a different scent I just kind of layered mine um, back and forth kind of like if you've ever done sand art but you could do any kind of pattern that you wanted and then um, each of them have their own scents so then you get this fun little candle that you can uh, take home with you so once I have this all completed then this project is complete. Inside beautiful woman People are talking me down Beautiful woman You try to tell me what's right The rogue is longer You turn all gray into white Oh And all the things I didn't say Wrecking balls inside my brain Standing tall with all my faith Empty voices in my head They will always be around Until I found the one again Let me know which one of these projects was your favorite today, if you're going to recreate any of them. I thought these were super fun, and I definitely am going to use some of them for my next girl sign in. Um, I loved the picture frame. I also think that that would be kind of fun to give as a party favor as well. I guess I kind of had gifts on my mind as I was creating this video. But don't forget to go down into my description box and go to the playlist so you can check out all the other creators and their really awesome videos that they created for today's collab. As always, wherever you are in your journey is a perfect place to start, and I will see you guys in the next video. And all the things I didn't say There's wrecking balls inside my brain Standing tall with all my faith Empty voices in my head